Newsflash, Jesus has all of the answers. You just have to ask for them. Go to Matthew 7, verses 7 and 8. After the spiritual battles I have endured lately and especially over the past couple of years, and Jesus taking care of those issues for me, as I handed everything over to him, he has now opened up the floodgates to his word, and I am walking in the light and freedom now more than ever, confirming to me through his word that my works for him here in the flesh have been on the right track over the past few years. Hallelujah to the Lamb. I also know that most will not agree with this statement, but God and his word backs me up on this. So turn to your Bibles. You're going to need them. Revelation 3, 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. Uh, I don't want to be any of those, and I'm not. I'm not going to be. So, the three new postings that I have put at the community page on the YouTube here, we have those listed as the first one was in this world of darkness that grows ever darker, there is light. And Spiritual Warfare by Mark Bubak. It's a book, and the book is called The Adversary. Put on your whole armor. And then the most recent one, Happy Passover. 2024 season starts Nissan 1. Hopefully, after these three very in-depth studies of the word, you will be able to recognize the wicked world and cursed earth we are currently living in, in our skin and fleshly temples, and have the spiritual strength to overcome the darkness amongst us. Walk in the light, trample on the spiritual wickedness in high places, and enter into the narrow gate that the Lord has provided for you. Know that this world is not only just falling apart, but it is falling right into place according to the word of the Lord. And he said his word will never end and every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Get out your Bibles, study the word, live it, love it, and share the gospel with all whether they like it or not, just as I'm doing here today, we are the planters of the seeds. Jesus is the harvester. Our everlasting life with him and our rewards we have earned in this flesh awaits us in heaven. Click on more below this video for all the links and information. And hallelujah to the lamb and let me run through this one a minute happy passover 2024 season starts nissan one the new moon is on april 8th and the passover season runs through the 22nd don't take part in ishtar Easter. Yeah, they call it Easter. It's really Ishtar. And they're pagan rituals. 
Seriously, Easter bunnies, Easter eggs, what is wrong with this world? Oh, never mind. I already know. We already went through that. Following Jesus and his timeline in the book of John, in chapters 1 and 2, when Jesus began his ministry of being the last rabbi, he starts with John the Baptist baptizing him and the Father blessing him and the Holy Spirit coming onto him and signifying to the world that he is now the only way to salvation and that he is the holy temple and that water is no longer required but believing on him living for him and being filled by the holy spirit is the only way to the father in heaven this happened this was on nisan 1 in 28 a.d the appointed time the time of life god's time of life and you can reference that back to genesis 18 exodus 12 joshua chapters 2 through 5 second kings 4 ezekiel 45 18 through 25 luke 3 23 john 11 23 through 26 and galatians 4 so look at how jesus clearly shows us his birthday the rapture day and the millennial schedule and it's all about him and how to get to eternity with the father so back to john um then three days later turning water into wine and then returning to jerusalem for the earthly temple inspection he was a rabbi he inspected the temple for the first time on the Psalm 7 John 2 13 through 22 then in John 2 23 Jesus makes another inspection of the earthly temple seven days later on Passover Nisan 14 as required by the Levitical scriptures in Leviticus 14 uh, see this great information here I have down here so there's a link to a, a great blog that was written and the information of what we just talked about Jesus made two trips early to the temple because he was required and then he did it again later uh, just before they murdered him you got to read that so all the links will be in the description below the video click on more get studied up get ready the war is here judgment is here and his wrath is coming. Praise the Lord God help us all.